Good morning. This is John, host of MGTOW is Freedom. I wanted to get this video out to you because it's important. And also to let you guys know, hey, I've got a great video coming up tomorrow. I've already written it uh, in the head. And also put it out on uh, in a form that can be easily followed and, uh, and learned from. Uh, that said, I also want to thank all of you for watching, for subscribing, for sharing this with your friends. And I do recommend, after you subscribe, be sure and share. Hit the share button, send the link out to other men in email form. The reason this is important is we constantly say, and I hear it, and I say it myself, I wish more men could think like this. I wish more men could see it and understand it. And I used to say that when I had thoughts in my head or I would see women doing things you know, conquering men, bringing men down. So I think the answer is, is these videos. Um, finally, men have a tool to fight back in the war, and it's a propaganda war. And the video I'll be doing this weekend is going to lay it out perfectly, how we got to where we're at, and also what we need to do to be free as men. So let's start here with, um, <clears throat> just a little piece of the propaganda war and it's very 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 effective the little line I've heard it a thousand times is behind every good man is a better woman first let's examine this we are supposed to believe because the word was uttered that it's the truth first of all men need to repudiate all claims made by women without verifiable, duplicable sources. Proof! Evidence! When you hear a claim like that, we need to repudiate it, not only in our own minds, but for the benefit of men around us and to squash women around us. What is going on is they're allowed to speak. Can't stop them. People listen and they've been duped. They've been duped that women have equal rights and therefore equal credibility. And it just doesn't go equal rights, equal credibility. There's a whole litany of steps in between equal rights, freedom of speech, they get some education, they get to they get to use guilt and shame, and so therefore you need to listen to them and then ultimately you have to believe them. And it's been pushed to where all they have to do is speak and we are required to believe them. That is how far we have been conditioned as men in this war against feminists for the destruction of man, that is us, men. It is the, the purpose is to destroy us, to subjugate us and bring us down, not only down to the level of women, but to be submissive to them. And they have, by and large, won that battle. The war is not over, but they've won that battle. Where we're under the high heel <laughs> of these, these feminist bitches. One second. Today is old truck day. It needs a little exercise, so that's why you're getting this video. All right, so let's look back at the propaganda war. The propaganda war. Behind every man or good man is a better woman. What is she doing? What is the woman doing? She's behind the man. She's not out in front. She is not leading the man. She is not clearing the path and blazing, you know, a huge trail for others to follow. She's behind the man, letting him do the work, letting him cut the brush, face the enemies, right? Man the utility, man the machine, man the robot. Behind every man, every good man, is an even better woman. Why is she better? What makes her better? Because she has to put up with his shit. That is, that is more propagandist lies. 
she must be better because she's putting up with him while she stands behind him and he clears the way. The layers of bullshit that need to be dissected so you can reveal, pull away all the masks of femininity and see the value of MGTOW. Men going their own way means denying propaganda and using your own mind. Behind every man, every good man is a better woman. What does that imply? Again, they're implying that they were always there and they put the man in front of them and then they're they're showing him, they're instructing him, they're teaching him. That's not the case. Men are born men. We're born with testicles. I have the penis. No matter how hard a woman works, she's never going to have a penis. Unless it's by surgery and then fake, and it's not a real penis. It's still fake. Fuck all of you tranny women out there. You're not real men. You never will be. Because you don't have the right chromosome. Facts, facts, facts. Men need to repudiate the lies. Repudiate propaganda and put women in their place men go your own way women can never be men period all surgery is is cosmetic bullshit all the drugs the hormone replacement therapy it's bullshit it doesn't make them a man because they don't think like a man men were born men we were born as men we were raised as men, and as much as they try putting men in their place and subjugating men to women's needs and wants, we're still men. So what happens? A man proves himself to be a value, proves himself to himself and then to other men, and makes his way in the world. And somewhere along the line, a woman sees him, likes him, presents herself to him, Never mind this bullshit thing that men chase women. Women hold themselves out there as prize. Booty. AKA tits and ass. They hold themselves out there as that. They do their face, they do their hair. And so they can say, well you chased me. Now I didn't want you, you found me, you chased me. So, you know, you're the one who wants and needs. No, fuck that. They make themselves out to be all beautiful and sexy and then they get in our way, right? Okay, so at some point, the man making his way through the world, one of these, one of these women gets in the way, makes herself observed by men, and then she falls in line behind him. Now she's the better woman behind the man, the good man. She falls in behind him, and what does she do? <clears throat> I'm pretty sure that June Cleaver got up every morning, gave Ward a blowjob, went downstairs while he was shit showering and shaving, made his breakfast, laid out his newspaper, poured him a cup of coffee that she had to put in the percolator. He comes downstairs, he does his man duty, right? He starts waking up, thinking, pumping himself up, Ward goes to work. Ward comes home, whew, tough day, June. Sits in the chair, kicks his shoes off, she puts slippers on him, hands him a fucking scotch, his pipe or a cigar. Right, gives him a blowjob. He has conquered, the man has conquered the day. He has won prize, he's conquered the world, he makes money. June is there doing exactly what she's supposed to do supporting the man that is what her job is she's behind the man but what do we have today that was then that was 60 years ago and it was it was on the it was perfect for june cleaver she had it all fucking washing machines and dryers cook stop cooktops dishwashers fucking mops that ring themselves out heaters that come on and off as needed air conditioning all she's got to do is look pretty and a little bit of domestic work and she's got it made, but that ain't fucking good enough. So feminists started a war.